I'm Jacob Pitts, and this is my final speech on why marijuana should be legal. Everybody dies at some point in their life, but have you ever had the thought of maybe how? Maybe you will drink yourself to death, maybe die of old age, or even possibly get critically ill with some sort of illness. With the use of marijuana, illnesses like cancer can be less of a probability and more of a rarity. Legalizing marijuana would help how the way society works and how we view the drug not just because of the medical reasons but because of agriculture purposes and a vast decrease in crime. Marijuana is proven to be a strong cure for illnesses such as cancer, Tourette's syndrome, and even epilepsy. It helps cure cancer symptoms by stopping nausea and vomiting. It also helps kill certain parts of the cancer cell. If you choose to smoke medical marijuana, there is an 83% chance that you will see progress and begin to get healthier in a short amount of time. You will see a large decrease in your nausea, your diarrhea, and all your stomach pains also. And these are all supportive facts and they are proven. Patients with Tourette's or epilepsy who smoke medical marijuana have been proven to show more calm emotions when having an episode. Tourette's can be very, very irritating and displeasing when classified into the same type of disease category as Tourette's. Because of the similarities and the intensity of the symptoms, the main difference between the two is the intense seizures epilepsy brings. Marijuana was introduced to human life in 7000 BC. The flowering tops and the leaves of the plant were used as a psychological cure. <clears throat> the seeds, what well, they were used for a source of nutrition and fiber. Marijuana can also be used for other resources such as a substitute for fossil fuels and most of our fibers, for example, cotton. It can also be made into plastic to create products such as things ranging anywhere from a stick of dynamite to a lotion bottle. In 1935 alone, 116 pounds, I repeat, 116 pounds of marijuana seeds were used in America for paint and varnish. But after 1937, most of the industry went to chemicals. It has the capability to help save the environmental issues such as sewage by using renewable silicose as a chemical stock instead of using plastic plumbing pipes. The many uses of marijuana are endless. There's endless capabilities with, to use this plant. Even though there's a steady decline of marijuana use, police dispatchers are getting more and more calls for illegal drug dealers. And of course, when this product in high, such high demand in our society, there's going to bring crime, there's going to bring people that are going to help prevent that crime and help rise the crime. That is how society works. The positive impact of these cells calls, excuse me, or calls are that police officers and the public are more aware of the pros and cons of the drug. Of course, there is always going to be a downfall to the drug because of the crime rate the drug brings, as I explained. Law enforcement agencies spend billions and billions of dollars annually trying to enforce the enforceable prohibition. Racial inequities that are part of marijuana trade cannot be ignored. Africans American are no more than likely to use it than the Caucasian race, but they are three to ten times more likely, I repeat, three to ten times more likely, depending on the state or city, to get arrested for illegally possessing the drug. In recent polls by the National Institute of Drug Use, national support has fallen from 54% to 42% as of September 2016. That is in favor of the prohibition of legalizing medical marijuana and recreational. So in conclusion, I believe that marijuana should be legal throughout our nation for the people that are battling with illnesses and disorders that can potentially benefit Americans' lives everywhere, every day, for everyone. It can also be used as a substitute for many things that can help save our environment and help out society. 
Crime and violence would decrease tremendously. While many people think marijuana is an unhealthy drug, I believe that is a way. I believe that is a way to help society when in need. And the only way we can make that happen is as a community and over time. Thank you.